Faye Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American woman. I take two fingers at the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curve line out, down, curve line in, and leave it floating. Come back to the dot and we're going to draw a big curve line out, in, and connect. I come over here on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line out, in, connect, and I'm going to come down a little ways right about here and I'm going to draw a slightly curved line, curve line over, straight line up, connect. I come right about here and I'm going to put a little straight line. And from that straight line, going towards the left, I'm going to draw a curved line down, connect, come back to that straight line, and I'm just going to draw a curved line down, connect on the right. I come back up to this straight line, and now I continue a curved line down, connect on the left, and a little skinny mini curved line down, connect on the right. Okay, I come inside and I draw one curved line on the left, one curved line on the right. Come back to the left, curve line up, over, curve line up, connect on the left, curve line up, over, curve line up, connect. Come on the inside and let's just draw one curved line on the left one curve line on the right. Okay? Come right here in the center. We're just going to draw a slightly curved line diagonal, straight line over. Come down. Let's just draw a straight line to start. Little curve, curve line on the bottom. Little curve line, curve line on the top. Okay. Now we're going to come back over here on the left. And we're going to draw curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, curve line out, over, come back up here. We're going to draw a big curve line up and over. And then we're going to draw little curve lines inside. And now we can continue this curve line, keep going, keep going, keep going, out, connect. Come on the right hand side and right about here we start curve line down, down, curve line, curve line, over, curve line, curve line out. Come back up top, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, curve line down. Curve line up, out, connect. Okay. Now I come over to the left hand side and I draw a curve line, jump over, curve line out, off the page. Okay, we're going to continue these little round baby circles. We're going to do a row of three off the page on the left. Come over here and we're going to do the same thing off the page on the right. Bring it all the way down, little baby circles. Okay, then we come over here and we're just going to add a wavy wavy line down, wavy wavy line jump over, wavy wavy line down. Okay, come on the center. We're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. Come over to the right, zigzag, zigzag. Come over here now on the far right, and we're going to do a little curve line, bigger curve line off the page. Now we're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. And then we're going to go zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. 
zigzag, zigzag, curve line, zigzag, zigzag, zigzag. If you can fit it in, zigzag. Okay? Let me see if that's it. Okay. Now come back over here and add curve lines at the indentations on the left, curve lines at the indentations on the right. Come inside and add curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, all the way down, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line. Same thing on the left, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, keep going, curve line, and we'll leave the bottom one the way it is. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's see how we're going to color this in. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is color in my eyes so I can see where she's looking with black. And then I'm going to color her hair. This is all black. And I'm going to do it by sections just to give it a little bit. Whoops. Crayon broke. Still good. Flip it over. Use the other side. Still going to color all of this black. Okay. So this is all black. Now jump over. These are her braids. So these are all going to be black. Bring it all the way down. And I'm just coloring each section black. Now for some of you this is really intense coloring. Do it in stages. You don't have to do it all at one time. You can just do her face and her hair day one, session one, I should say. These are the bottoms of her braids. Come over on the left, draw color in the inside parts of her braids. So you could do the actual portrait face of her first, color that all in, then do her outfit then do the background. Okay, that's all black. Alright, now I'm going to come in and I'm going to do her ear brown and I'm going to do her face brown. Some of you might have already have um, face color crayons. That's great. So you can pick a, a brown for her face. Bring it all the way down. Now notice I'm not doing her lips yet. I'm going to show you how we're going to do those. Bring this all the way down. This is her neck. This is brown also. Okay. Now for her lips I took a pink and I just did a line of color top and bottom. You know they didn't have lipstick or anything like that. And then I'm going to take my brown double color over so it blends. Okay? Alright, now we're going to do her outfit and I'm going to start off with purple and this is going to be purple and this zigzag is going to be purple it's easier to work your way over and then this is going to be purple. Okay, she's got on a robe, she's got on furs, she's got on all kinds of things. This will be purple. This top zigzag will be purple. And I'm going to even add some straight lines of purple. Make it look a little furrier. And this is going to be purple. Okay. Next, I get orange. And I'm going to do these panels orange, this panel orange, this orange, and this little space orange also. I go back and get my black, and this zigzag zigzag is going to be black. And this zigzag zigzag is going to be black. You are going to do way better coloring this in than me. Alright. The last thing I'm going to do is her jewels. Her jewelry. So I'm going to do 
blue green turquoise for this up here and I'm going to put a red red kind of um, bead inside I'm going to do the middle section red and I'm going to do the middle section here red and then I'm going to do the blue green okay you can do any color combinations you want. It's up to you. She's got a lot going on in her outfit. Lots of details. Okay, so I did this blue. All right. Now for the background, I filled in the whole entire background. Sometimes I do stripes. This time I just did straight lines next to each other. All the way across. And filled in the background with blue. Regular blue all the way across down and over when you do a person's face in art it's called a portrait and that's what this is a portrait of a Native American okay let's see what she looks like all colored in okay here is my Native American woman portrait all colored in this was a real person. Her name was Pretty Nose, and she was Cheyenne. You can Google that, and you can see her, her photograph. Okay, bye-bye.